My name is Julia and welcome to the Vlog Couch Show. Today, what a treat do I have for you. We are going to be talking to Asha. She's a writer, she's a performer, and when I met her, I said, you're my hero. I'm going to force myself into your life and look, success. <laughs> When I was really little, I moved schools a lot, and um, the way that I thought was best to cope with like meeting new people was to lie about who I was. And so my mom was like, why don't we get you a journal, and all of these ideas you come up with, you can write them down instead of lying about them to people. And I was like, okay. What a good mom, to not be like, you have to stop <laughs> lying to she was just like, let's reframe, reframe, <laughs> let's, let's channel this. Into something productive and creative. What was your first story you wrote where you were like, yes? Okay, the first one that I remember writing, I was maybe like eight. Mm -hmm. And looking back on it, it was basically like a spec script for Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Mm -hmm. um, instead of Sabrina, it was like Sally. And like instead of her aunt Hilda, it was like Aunt Hillary. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So. That sounds like some fan fiction that I. <laughs> basically was, I guess, yeah. There's a lot of One Direction fan fiction out there, you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I'm too old. I actually, sorry, just no, because you said please. that, there was this band I really loved in high school called McFly, and there was this Brit, did you like McFly? I loved <laughs> them. <laughs> the drummer, I think. Harry. Okay, then not the drummer, Dougie, whoever Dougie. Dougie. Was Dougie was I was like. As a teen, as like a 14, 15 year old, I wrote fan fiction about them. Yes! So I did. Oh my, leak. Okay. <laughs> It's probably out there on the internet. What's <laughs> your career origin story? Oh. I moved out here right after graduation. I got a job as a showrunner's assistant and writer's assistant, and then kind of moved up to script coordinator. And then we didn't get a season two like I thought we would. Got the writer's assistant job, writer's PA job on Screen Queens. I have like amazing bosses who are very supportive and always like to promote from within. And so I kind of moved up through the ranks that way. And um, because my boss has like a million shows because he's a creative genius. He put me on one of them and here I am. Oh, what was like your first day of work as, as like a staff writer? I feel like I'd be peeing in my pants. What was it like for you? It was a little bit of that. It's a little different though because I had already, I knew the writers and I knew my bosses and I knew everybody. But there is a vibe of like, okay, who am I going to be in the room? Like you don't know yeah. what, because everyone kind of brings their own thing to every writer's room. Mm -hmm. I remember my first day, it was kind of like, I'm just going to shut the fuck up <laughs> and not say anything and just absorb as much as I can. So it was a little bit of um, pants peeing, but yeah. mostly just like trying to not get fired because there's this fear, you know, yeah. when like you first get your like dream job right. where it's like, oh, this, I don't want this taken away from me. Like, don't move. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, that fades away. We mm -hmm. kind of... Um, you get, you like pitch something and they're like, that's bad. And you're like, okay. And you pitch something like, that's good. And you're like, yeah. And yeah. so, you know, it kind of evolves. Did it feel bad to be like, oh, that one did not land or like, or were you just kind of like, it's okay. Like I just keep rolling through. Like that's part of the job. I wish I could say I was the second one. I wish that like up front, I was just like, you know what? When some lose some, come see, comes out. No, it hurts in the beginning because it's, I mean, it's kind of like stand-up. Like, if someone doesn't like it, they don't like you. And that's, like, heartbreaking. Something someone told me early on was that when you're a staff writer, your job isn't to have good ideas, it's just to have ideas. Mm. And to just be, like, an optimistic person in the room. What about writer's block? How do you deal with that when you're just sitting there and you're, like, trailing that thing? 
I usually just close it and open something else. Yeah. <laughs> and just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is why I think it's helpful to work on different things because if I'm like really stuck on something, mm -hmm. um, I also talk to myself a lot, you know? Like, no, no, I, honestly, I get it. I didn't know that how much I talked to myself until I was walking in my parking garage and someone walked out and I was like, I'm talking to myself right now and they can see me. So since we're in slumber party mood, yes. So comfy. In our comfies. Let me put my head on. <laughs> this is gonna be really weird over my <laughs> But we're making it work. So are we are we doing this? Is yeah, this yeah. what's happening? Okay. Again, mine's kind of short, but it's and yet so too. long. Yeah. It's time for our first game slash challenge. Since you're a writer, <laughs> we're gonna build a story one word at a time. Oh, fun. The two of us working together. I can't wait. This story will be called The Princess Who Didn't Like EDM That Much. Okay. The Princess woke up one night and couldn't fall back asleep. She turned on the radio and heard Zed Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a person? Zed Mouse? She frowned and couldn't stand the sound of Zed Mouse. <laughs> So she said, no way am I going to sleep ever because this song is bad. Mommy, <laughs> the end. <laughs> oh boy, are we rolling? Everybody, welcome to the spooky, scary part of the slumber party. Have you ever heard a six word horror story? No. Okay, these are big on like Reddit. Okay. I'll put this down for a moment. They're a spooky, scary story that's told in only six words. One of the most popular ones that I found was, I just saw my reflection blink. Get it? Get it? Because what's going on? Like you couldn't see that. I'm gonna put one minute, 60 seconds on the clock. Oh my God. And you and I have to write as many six oh word spooky, scary stories as possible in 60 seconds. Okay, six words, okay. Yeah, get in your writing position. Okay. <laughs> the clock starts now! Should we read each other's? Yeah. I'll go first. This first story by Asha. The boy went to his grave. Cause it's like, it's scary. Cause you're going to your own grave. It's scary. I'm terrified. This first short horror story by Julia. Big family, all toilets are broken. Because- That is scary. Yeah. It's like in the Brady Bunch household. Exactly. So yeah. Too many people, mm -hmm. no working toilet. A dog couldn't get a treat. <laughs> the dog. There's a, a theme with some of yours. Gotta pee, but where is toilet? <laughs> so that would be five words. I never went to Prince's concert. That was scary for me. That's so I really sad. like Prince. <laughs> Big vampire is in my room. <laughs> I like that you qualified it with big. The faucet turned itself on. <laughs> Which after I wrote it, I was like, it could be sexy. I ate a bad cheese. I thought at first it said bed cheese. You know what? I'm gonna pitch this. Thank you. Season 10. I bad cheese. American Horror Story, bad cheese. Also, this, this was, <laughs> the time was running up and I just. Panic, panic story. The tree is scary and bad. <laughs> Yay! You can't see, but I shine light up here. Okay, great job. I you did such a great job. These are gonna win a Pulitzer.
answer. I think my favorite of yours is gotta pee but where is toilet? Well, this brings our sleepover to a close and it's been so fun. It's been so nice, thank you. It's the morning, uh, yeah. we're groggily opening yeah. our eyes and oh. because it's time for your mom to pick you up. Yeah, so. I think she's here, so okay. I'm gonna head out. Goodbye, bye, bye. goodbye. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Oh my god. <laughs> the faucet turned itself on. <laughs>